Listen, you take as much time as you need, sweetheart. You don't have to tell me anything, miss. We haven't known each other long, I know. Oh, hon. Here, come here, sit down. Right on this bench. It's okay. Don't apologize, sweetheart. I had no idea you were going through this much. Oh, my poor little sugar mama. I'm here, okay? You want to talk about it? All right, hon. Is it okay if I repeat back what you say to make sure I'm understanding? You kind of, uh, smushed into my pecs. <laughs> well, thank you. I work out. Go on, sweetie. Whenever you're ready. You met Danny's dad when you were 19 and he was 26. And you felt pretty hard for him. He made you cut off your family and friends, then got you pregnant at 20. And he completely changed after that. He... started being even more controlling. Criticized everything you ate, and how much you weighed, and forced you to be a stay-at-home mom and raise Danny. Well, he basically traveled around and cheated on you. Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Shh. It's not your fault. It is not your fault, miss. It happens to so many young people. They get drawn in by someone older and more mature, treating them nicely all equal, only for that person to reveal their true colors the moment they think it's safe to do so. So many stories, most of them with unhappy endings. Look up at me for a second, okay? I'm not gonna let that happen. You deserve a happy ending, miss. Oh, honey. You are not used goods. I'll break anyone's jaw saying otherwise. Uh, not yours, though, so, uh, quit. Come on. Finish your story, sweetheart. Get it all out of you so we can start working on happier memories. If you don't feel comfortable... Things got worse when Danny was born. He had some ODD tendencies? Enlighten me? Ah, oppositional defiant disorder, right. Hmm. Basically, fuck the man on steroids and you have the misfortune of being the man. Right. Sorry, carry on. He'd act out to both you and his father. And any time he did it to his father, said father would respond by smacking the shit out of him. Yeesh. And the only thing you could do was take blows for him when Danny had left the room. Oh, Angel. I know. I know you did your best, sweetheart. The fact that... Monster... Had Danny twisted up against you for so long before he came around is... Christ. Sweetheart, you don't have to justify it to me. You did what you had to do to survive. And I know you only wanted the best for Danny. What brought Danny around? Yes, can you? Dad, Dad, call for an ambulance. No? Dad, she hit her head for fuck's sake. She hit her head and her arm. Dad, 
please. I know you're divorcing for fuck's sake, but... Dad! Someone help. Mr. Harris, please. You call the ambulance? Oh, oh thank God. Hear that, Ma? The dog's on the way. You're gonna be okay. No, Ma. I'm okay. I'm not hurt. And I've eaten. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. He must be a damn master manipulator for Danny to still talk to him. Damned mess for sure. I get not wanting to tell Danny everything. But... I know that boy. He'll find out eventually. And it'll be a whole thing. And with his own impending fatherhood... Do you trust me? Good. Ask Danny for a sit-down meeting between the three of us in a week, at my place. We'll have a nice dinner and talk through all of this. It'll also give me some time to put together a dossier on his father. I assure you, miss, it'll contain the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Danny will have the information he needs to be informed without it coming across as pressure to cut the shithead out of his life. It'll also give me time to meet with Loretta, my personal lawyer. Exceptionally cutthroat, even for a lawyer. Lovely wife at home, and two Samoyed. <laughs> Maybe we could do a double date one of these days. Does that mean you'll consider being my lady love? Hmm. <laughs> I can take things slow. Good things are always worth waiting for, right? <laughs> ah, if you kiss the tip of my nose like that, I'm gonna get a little smooch. <laughs> nice to see you smile. Ah, no need to thank me for being a good man, miss. I get so much from every moment we spend together. <laughs> I guess I am, as my nieces would say, down bad. <laughs> yes, yes. Old man talks like the kids, very funny. Cutie. Hmm. You ready to head back? I see those eyes darting around, looking for a sneaky son. <laughs> Psh, honey, I'm the mob. I run the mob. I've probably got ten other people trying to spy on me at any given moment. Plus, I think Danny would cringe himself into a knot if he tried it with how lovey-dovey we're being. Of course I'll hold your hand. Come here. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, Ma was lost in thought. Um, uh, is... Are you, um... I do want to know what you meant. Yeah. Please. Can you wait one week? Why? Because I want the truth as bad as you do, kid. <laughs> 